Welcome back, Patriots. We hope you had a lovely week and a lovely weekend. It is a half day this Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, last week, our um, varsity boys went to sectional finals. We lost, but it's okay because we got to finals. So that's pretty great in itself. Very exciting. Anyway, so we have a recap from that. Um, so we're gonna go check that out. I don't smoke no feeling. Dripping sauce like I'm chilly. Said that we came to the floor when it's chilly. I got big, big booty bras at the telly. And then I'm from the store who was ready. I can't f with none of y'all. Y'all discuss me. When you're with your maggot friends, don't discuss me. Effing with a standing clip, I hope don't try to rush me. I hear them saying such and such a f ain't gonna touch me. Congratulations to our basketball teams. You guys have officially had a fantastic season. We're ve all very proud. Yeah. And um, up next, our fifth grade went on a field trip to Fort Drum. Um, and I think they were learning about STEM and science-y type stuff. Very interesting. So we're going to go and check that out. Well, I hope you guys had fun on your field trip. I know it looked super fun and honestly, a great way to learn. Yeah, um, speaking of learning, this is Music Education Month. It's very exciting. We're gonna check in with our uh, course and band teachers and we're yeah. gonna see what they've been up to with their classes. Hi, I'm Eric Gain. I'm here with our amazing chorus and general music teacher, Miss Angle, and I'm going to ask her a question about music in our school's month. So one question is, why is school music such an important part of our school? Um, I think music is an important part of our school because it's accessible to everybody. Um, even if you don't sing or play an instrument, you could still listen to music or sing or do something on your own time too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it really brings people together um, in ways that maybe other things don't. Awesome. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Eric Gain. I'm here with our amazing band teacher, Mr. Wiley, uh, to talk about uh, music in our school's month. So the question that I have is, why do you think music is such an important part of our school? Well, the, the short answer is music enhances learning of all other subjects, right? Because we, we really got to use our brain in a, in a kind of different way than we're used to in other classes, right? We, and and uh, besides that, it's all about teamwork, too, okay? So it's a very social experience, and we got to get these kids listening to music and, and appreciating art. I don't know, does that work? Definitely, thank you. It's always fun to, you know, learn about what's happening in our school and in our classrooms. Thank you so much to our music teachers for letting us take a look. And we hope that everybody this month has a chance to, you know, enjoy and appreciate our music a little bit more. Yeah. Um, we're going to see how much you guys know about old music and stuff. Yeah, 80s and 90s, yeah. way back. All right, so let's look at Rashawn's radio and all of his questions that he's got for us. All right. 
guess this song. Okay. Can't get no love from me. Scrubs. TLC. Yeah. Do you know the song? Of course I do. Who sang it? Barbie. Do you like it? A little too much. Well, I don't. All right. <laughs> guess the name of the song. Dance with somebody by Whitney Houston. Do you like the song? Yeah, it's a good song. Why? Because it's upbeat and it's uplifting and it's fun. I agree, thank you. Yeah. 80s or the 90s? The 80s. The 80s, is that correct? Yes, alright. Rate the song in the scale 1 through 10. Oh, it's a 10. 10? Alright. I agree, thank you. Finish these lyrics to the song. Get the game on, go play. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's correct. <laughs> it is for the song. I know I should know this because it's Mrs. Esposito's favorite singer, I think. I'll give you a hint. Starts with a B. I I'm drawing a blank. I am seriously drawing a blank. Last name is Spears. Oh, Britney Spears. Yep, that's correct. <laughs> it's always fun to, you know, talk about some 80s and 90s music, a blast of the past, if you will. Kendall, what's your favorite song from that era? Um, a little basic, but I like living on a prayer. It's fun mm -hmm. to sing. Everyone knows it, so. Yeah. What about you? I like No Scrubs, TLC. You know, it's been stuck in my head on loop recently. That's yeah. my go-to. Yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, up next. Um, this month is um, National Women's Month. International, International Women's, Women's Month. Month. Very exciting, and we are going to, you know, take a little second to learn about why it's so important that we celebrate this. <laughs> Happy International Women's Month! It's been a blast. You know, we're filming this on International Women's Day, which was March, March 8th. Yes, Women's History Month was actually declared March in 2011 by former President Barack Obama, and it was first celebrated in the early 1900s by Austria and Germany. Ooh, very exciting. You know, it's a global phenomenon now, um, and we take a minute to celebrate all of our, our histories and our, our current people. I love women, and I think that International Women's History Month is super important because we deserve to all celebrate each other and love one another and show appreciation to all of the women in our lives. I feel very great to be a woman during yes. the month of March and all the time, I guess, too. Yes, absolutely. It's super important, though, that we take a minute to acknowledge, you know, the history that maybe we're not taught about as much, which is, you know, women's history a little bit. Who yeah. are some of your favorite women? Um, I love, like, Sally Ride, you know, our first American female astronaut. Very exciting. And then I also love um, Gloria Steinem. Did some awesome work in the 80s and 90s with the feminist movement. Who do you like? I'm gonna pretend like I know who those are. <laughs> Um, but they sound like wonderful, amazing, inspirational women. Yeah. I love Michelle Obama because she's Michelle Obama. Yes. Um, and I also love Beyonce mm -hmm. and SZA, Phoebe Bridgers. Oh my God, all of all of those wonderful women out there that are yeah. doing such a great job at making the world go round. Yes, you know, and making art and making our world just a more beautiful and lovely place. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Um, how do like the women that you interact with on a day to day, your personal connections, how have they like shaped you? Um, women have just helped to really lift my spirits up, they uh, make me feel like I can do anything, um, and they support me, and I just, I love, I love women, yeah. isn't that great? Um, I learned a bunch of facts about um, International Women's Month because it, Ms. Montrose told me to research it. Um, and did you actually know that a lot of the things that we use today were invented by women? Ooh, like what? Um, diapers, dishwashers, non-reflective glass, all of these things that like are seemingly pretty normal were all invented by women. That's so cool. And did you know that high heels, which are typically a more feminine uh, type of uh, footwear, did you know that 
High heels were originally invented for men to wear to enhance their masculinity, and women started wearing them in the 1600s in order to mock men. Oh. But now it's just become a uh, traditional uh, feminine staple. Ooh, very exciting. Yeah. I love that, very fun. <laughs> um, Make sure that you take a moment this month to celebrate the women that are close to you and, you know, appreciate how women have shaped all of us. Yes, tell your women that you love them. <laughs> Delaney, I love you. I love you too, Addison. <laughs> Happy International Women's Month. Happy International Women's Month. Men, so great to learn about International Women's Month. Honestly, love appreciating women. As a woman, it's great <laughs> being appreciated. It's nice to, you know, celebrate the history of women and take a second and, you know, acknowledge um, all of the cool stuff that's yeah. happened. Yeah. Um, happy Half Day Friday. That's all we have for you this week. And we hope that you have a lovely weekend and a lovely week. And mm -hmm. we will see you next week.